Sea trials of floating missile test range INS Anves begin this month. The FTR will not only speed up the missile projects of DRTO but also allow live testing of interceptor missiles for phase 2 of ballistic missile defense program. Sea trials of India's first floating missile test range INS Anves are set to begin this month with the ship expected to be commissioned in the next two months. Built by Cochin Shipyard and designed by the Defense Research and Development Organization DRDO, the nearly 9,000 ton ship will be used to test missiles up to range of 1,500 kilometers deep inside the Indian Ocean without the threat to population or sea traffic as well as land mass limitation. India is expected to commission at least four ships this year with ballistic missile tracking ship INS Dhrup being handed over to National Research Technical Organization NTRO on September 10. Stealth guided missile destroyer INS Visakhapatnam and diesel attack submarine INS Vela, fourth of the Kalvari class, will also be commissioned by the end of the year. Once commissioned, the FTR INS Anves will bring futuristic missile projects up to speed as it will provide for a ready-made safety corridor without going through tedious exercise of issuing NOTAMs to ships and aircraft flying in the area. While the DRTO missile testing site at Wheeler Island of Odisha is under the scanner of the adversaries, the FTR will also allow discrete testing of missiles and torpedoes 400 to 500 nautical miles into the sea. While only a select group of nations operate FTRs, the DRDO has specific plans to use the vessel equipped with electro-optical missile tracking, S-band tra radar tracking, telemetry device apart from a launch pad control and mission control center for testing its phase 2 of ballistic missile defense, interceptor missiles. The phase 2 of the BMD envisages intercepting and destroying enemy missile up to range of 2000 km by kinetic force with the FTR allowing live testing of the interdictor missiles and not computer simulations. The FTR will also allow for live missile and torpedo firing by the Navy as well as surface-to-surface -surface tactical missiles with the Indian Army. Thank you.